Alrighty then. Yo, yo, yo. Hello to the people. We be back with our Shah Arise of the Girded's save state. We are doing a bunch of stuff. We've gotten a pretty good setup so far. Um, we did lose a bunch of land last time, and we're about to lose even more of our lands. Uh, oh no, we're not. We only got one son, which is nice. So hopefully we can quickly embrace celibacy almost immediately, so that way we do not end up causing more issues. Uh, we got a lot going on, um, as far as it goes. We've got family that needs to be taken care of. Um, and you don't need too bad. Uh, you would be... I don't know who you are. And that's the Gujar. For the time being, I'm fine with, uh, that going on. So we do... Uh, we don't need a war right now with the Gujar. We need to work on our internal situation, uh, more than anything at this point. Which is mostly just dealing with our brothers who have taken our lands. Uh, and we really need them to be revoked. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a revocation reason, and we have alliances with them, because I didn't realize I needed to, uh, take those, uh, titles. So, we got fucked, basically, and we need to continue to push, um, to gain more land. Actually, you know what? That was your daughter. Mm. We're gonna see. So this builds an alliance. Oh, it doesn't. She okay. So she is married now to him, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. We can deal with it. He's a dynastic kinslayer. He's not gonna last very long, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, for our safety, we do have our allies over here and over here. So at this point, the only other place to expand, because we do. I think we need all Punjab. Let me pull up that CK3 achievements page again. Um, <laughs> Alright. Control F, rise of the Gurids. Uh, we do need the kingdom of Punjab. So, which means we need all of this territory here from them. Which shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh god, we will have World War I in India if that's the case. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, one of the things we will do first is hold court. We have no reason not to. Good luck. Uh, well, we already got Beta of Israel yesterday, and we are already halfway to this achievement, so I'm not too concerned, to be honest. I tried twice and failed. Yeah, I, we're not going to go into the amount of attempts I've done on Mother of Us All. Um, ba -ba -bum. it isn't too bad of an achievement, though, in my opinion. Uh, I don't, I'm not giving up a barony. Sorry, buddy. Um, challenge against Toma Girid. Uh, oh, okay, so you want lands. Was a kingdom and all of a sudden Arabian Empire attacked me. Uh, well, that's pretty easy to fix. You can either switch your religion at that point, or you can try and ally a bunch of powers around you. Uh, I recommend Tibet to start with. Um, taking less stress isn't really a big issue for us, because we're not all that stressed out, so... Hmm... We, punish Troublemaker probably isn't a bad idea. I had lots of allies, but they had more. It, it can happen. You can get screwed. I won't deny that. I've had that happen a few times. My biggest issue is more of the uh, children management. I need more land now because we've lost a bunch. Uh, we lost a bunch to uh, our brothers, and they took all of our main territories. Uh, at this point, I guess the only other option would be to go after you. You have 1,100 troops. And if you're referring to the Safarids, actually, the Safarids aren't that strong. They're really not that big of an issue. Uh, that'll come down to our troop quality, in my experience, um, which we will be taking care of here soon. Also, one of the nice things you can do with them is learn their language, um, which tends to make them a little more pacifist towards you. I want to kill you, but unfortunately, I think we, yeah, we're way outnumbered there. 
Uh, all right, we grow closer to forming some friendships, and I refuse to switch religion. Well, that's why. Achievements are not for things to be headstrung on. Achievements are for you to chase and get, uh, by whatever means are needed, in my opinion. But, I understand your pain. Uh, I've ran games where I've been pretty stubborn with that. Uh, Mother of Us All is my, uh, bane of existence for achievements, uh, with that mentality. Um, yeah, we'll grant some vassals out. That's fine. Okay, so... I know I want the Bakhturit Empire as well along with the way. Bakhturit. I'm not familiar with that one. I don't think that's an achievement, is it? If it is, I mean, maybe I'm mistaken, but... Uh, and you need to stay Buddhist. Damn. See, I actually was thinking about going Zoroastrian, um, just for the fact that it this was a, um... Uh, the Gurids were um, Zoroastrian. They were basically Persians. So there's really no reason not to at that point. What more irks me is the fact that I will never be getting my land back, which bothers me a lot. So I've got to basically relocate my court to expand more um, as time goes on. Uh, we already have Administrator. You might as well get Centralization. Not really a big issue at this point. Um, this is one of my grandsons, that's fine. My heir, however, who are you being educated by? She has a really good learning. Actually, getting learning with you would be really good for our culture. Uh, if we can kind of push this for our innovations, so. Because uh, I would like to start working on this here soon. So, that will be a major boon to us, getting our culture up. So that way we can get a better men-at-arms build. Um, you know what? Getting a couple more. Let's pop our onagers all the way up to make it really easy to siege everything down. We will not become a witch. Thank you very much. And then we'll probably start investing in our camel riders due to the fact that we have all those major boosts. So we might as well. Uh, let's try and strike a deal. Not an issue. Honestly, in my opinion, the hardest one I've ran into, or the one that took me the longest, and I'm still running um, the thing on YouTube, was uh, Nepotism and uh, Rise from the Ashes. Um, both those achievements I got in one playthrough, and they are over on um, uh, the YouTube channel. Um, there we go. I was like, wait, what, what am I doing here? What did I forget? Uh, let's. Oh, we can't afford to fix this up, unfortunately. We do need more gold. That's fine, though. We can at least get that going there. All right, we learned a new language. Perfect. Always a good thing. We have Tarnum. One of our granddaughters needs to be remarried off. Um, who is this? What's the kingdom? Where? No, I just I want to know where the hell you are, mate. <laughs> oh, you're all the way over there. Hmm. You're not really worth my time for an alliance. Uh, that's not bad, actually. So, yeah. I'm not really worried about them being old. That's fine. That's their problem, not mine, to deal with. Alright. Roshan. Uh, I got all, fi all but five old achievements. Didn't manage to get some random ones, like getting you saved by your wife. Yeah, I've yet to get that. For the achievements I've gotten so far, um... Let me see... The ones I'm missing, I'm trying to get Knut the Greater definitely still. Um, haven't done the first of the Crusader Kings. There's a few like minor ones I haven't bothered with. Above God has also been kind of an annoying one. Um, we actually do have the Emerald Isle, so that was fun to do. Yeah, that was one I was close to. I have almost there already. Uh, Saga and Stone is definitely one of those ones where you get on a random run. Converging Paths I still need to get... Uh, Polyglot, I'm not running this run, but I will be doing soon. Fa uh, Franca Crotia, um, and then there's a few others I'm still kind of working on. Land of the Roost was an easy one. Um, Saga and Stone is freaking bonkers. Yeah, it's basically all AI based. It's, it's impossible to get it yourself. <sighs> Why are you trying to war with people? I'll join, but I'm not going to actually go help you. Who are you fighting specifically, actually? Oh, you're fighting. Oh, uh, well, have fun with that. What's the war looking like? 4,000. How many troops do you have? You have 2,000. 
Uh, and a perfect circle I didn't do. Yeah, that's another one. That's just a weird achievement. You have 3,000 trips. You should be fine. Plus, I don't really want to get involved. I can see them. God damn it. Um, alright. We might as well help. I don't like helping my allies personally, but, you know, we don't get much of a choice in this situation. Are you gonna run, seriously, as I'm showing up? Um... Are you, you fucking, I was gonna say, mate, you, you're running for no reason. You're literally wasting your time. Why, why run? I love the AI in this game so much. We have full opportunity to take advantage of these guys and kill them, but instead the AI would rather run off and hide. And now he's gonna come over and siege these lands back. You guys are idiots. You guys are literal. I'm not gonna help you in this war if you're gonna just fucking sit there. Come here. Get, come kill these guys. Legitimately, like, it's not gonna be... Oh, AI, come here. Yeah, the worst thing is they won't even get involved even if I fight this. Yeah, they're not gonna come over here. Uh... Alright, well, we're just gonna leave them be. I'm not even gonna waste... I'm not gonna waste my money. Let them die on their own. It's not even worth my time. Alright, get rid of you. Um, you also want to be t taught to be learned. That's fine. Another one of my granddaughters to marry off. Um. Honestly, at this point, I'm tempted to start just marrying them to brothers of mine. There you go. Go have fun. Maybe I can ruin their uh, legitimacy by getting them so screwed up with uh, inbred. Because they all took my damn lands and I don't have the time to kill them all individually because they're such a long fucking tree at this point. Uh, may you grow strong. That's fine. Um, yeah, I have you on court intrigue just in case because I have too many brothers that are going to want to kill me. Uh... Sure, go get sleep deprived. I really could not care less about you. Um, alright. Yeah, to be honest, it's not that big of an issue. It's more of just a waiting game. I think if you're patient with it, just like um, how most of the Paradox games go, patience is key. Like, you have time. Might as well use it. Alright. <sighs> Fucking seriously. Out of all the times to have another son child, you wait till I'm 65 in poor health. <sighs> well, guess we're switching over instead of income. We're gonna be medicine focused so we can know thyself and kill this child. Yes, thank you, get sickly. Where are you going for? Uh, look at the name of the achievement. Uh, it's in the, uh, the title of the stream. Um, hmm. Oh, good, you, you survived Typhus. I'm so happy. Yeah, we're gonna let them die, to be honest. I really couldn't care less about our alliance at this point. No, I mean your skills. Uh, I'm not hard focusing. I'm letting them be basically whatever they're good at. That's what I'm, uh, letting them run. Character skills don't aren't really a big deal to me as long as they're high in one category or another. Um, yeah, I, I'm not big on min-maxing or doing like the breeding orders like people like to do. Um, I know a lot of people are into like uh, breeding the best family possible. Personally, I think all it does is cause you problems. So I try not to bother with it. Um, no, I'm good. I'm not doing a adventure right now. We're already broke, you know, I don't need that. Uh, that's why we're trying to get our culture bumped to the next era, because we're hurting right now. Also, crop rotation. I had so much land, and now these fuckers, all these brothers screwed me over. I find some essential, like, learning skill uh, for development. Uh, it depends. I mean, again, you know, I'm not big on doing... Um, anything like that plus you can min max your culture a lot better like i'm not going for a world record to make that very clear 
Um, nor do I have an interest in doing going for a world record on this. Um, I already submitted my beta of Israel, and like I was twenty eight hours and or sorry twenty seven hours and fifty eight minutes over. It's only uh four in. I think so. It's always worth. Well, to each their own. Uh, I mean, depends on how you want to run it. Um, ba -ba -bum. let's see. I need you wed off. Honestly, at this point, I'm just going to start marrying you matrilineally to get you lot out of my court and to go have you fucking up the bloodlines as much as possible. Biological warfare at its finest. Because all you fuckers basically screwed me by taking these ter territories. When you had land of your own already given to you. Oh, great. You lived. Fantastic. Ugh. Can you stop popping out children? I am literally 69 years old. I am not fathering... S woman, you are 44. There is no way that's my fucking child. Oh, God. It's so annoying. Um, let's see. For this... I had the same problem. They only get go out in fertile lot. No. Yeah, I'd be better off with that. Um, so yeah, I can marry into my own dynasty. I just don't want to. That's the problem with them overpopulating the family tree. Alright, to be honest, I don't know when I'm going to die, so it's going to be quicker to just do this. It, I might get tyrannical issues with this, but I really don't care. We're not having any more sons and any of my wives that uh, make this a problem. I will be causing issues with. All right, we're going to divorce each of you. Y'all can go have your babies yourselves. And you better not be a problem. Actually, to be honest, divorcing you is probably for the best. I would rather stay single. It's not like we need the realm uh, numbers right now. Uh, Sure, we'll find the answers in heaven. Okay. No. I'll check. Uh, I will check your VOD. Curious how you started this here. Have a sub. Oh, I. You don't have to sub. You can just follow. I appreciate that. Though. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. You can also. I was gonna say if you want to watch any of the playthroughs I run, they all go up on YouTube as I'm running things. So, best place to check. Um, as time goes on, but I appreciate the subscription. I really do. Either way. It's, you know, a little more cash in the pocket never hurts. But again, you know, I always recommend people give their subscriptions to people who actually need the money and who actually deserve it. I already make plenty of money at my, my day job. So while I appreciate it at the same time, uh, it's, you know, don't don't feel like obliged here. Uh, let's grab that. Oof. That ding. Ow. <laughs> Forgot that my little ringer thing goes off. Oh, it's, and my camera's in the way of it, too. <laughs> Um, um, but I appreciate it, nonetheless. Um, there it goes. Dashboard popped off. Yep, there we go. Uh, no, I just want to support small streamers with the Prime. Well, I appreciate it either way. Uh, the re that's the reason I say that, is because I make plenty on my own, so. But, thank you either way. And was specifically looking for an achievement runner. That is what I'm going to be doing for the next month. Um... All, I'm going to be, so we have lined up to do the Tibetan achievement, um, and a few others that we're going to be doing, so, uh, this was the one that chat chose next, so I said I would give it a go and see where, and we'll run it until I lose it. Um, hmm, I believe you overstayed your welcome, uh, you know, I really don't mind. I just did the polish one, Tibetan, uh, yeah, I failed first try. Yeah, I can't remember. What is it called? Bo? It's like Bo Gang something. I've got this saved because I couldn't find the character. Uh, I also have, um, what is it? Uh, I have to look at the achievement. So yeah, Bo, Bo Chen Po, and then there's another one that I was looking at uh, doing next. Um, I've got to find it. It's one the one where you have to start as like the Count of Samosa and found Ram. Oh yeah, Turkish Eagle. That's the other one we're uh, going to be working on eventually. Um, whew, God damn, everyone wants my money. Alright. Uh, yeah, at this point, we just pretty much sit back and chill. Kind of go with it. 
Uh, show sat trap. You receive sat trap. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's fine. Oh, great. Well, fantastic. Uh, another do got all these daughters. I I really am no longer gonna be marrying more than one woman at a time. This is getting to the point where it's ridiculous. I cannot deal with this many children. I've lost so much land, and I don't know if we move our capital from Gur if we'll lose uh, the achievement, but it's something to keep in mind. All right, well, we got a reason to go to war, at least. This guy's only got 992 men. We're going to start pushing. It's time to get Punjab under our belt. And maybe, if we're lucky, um, we will... I never want to see his face again. Yeah, piss off, dude. I don't even know who you are. Uh, if we can get lucky, we might be able to pull uh, an empire today. If we can get Gurid, the Gurid Empire, that'll be really nice. I would love to get it. No, yeah, nice. I want to do all those. Yeah, they're going to be rough. I did get a bunch off because I are off stream. I went and got a bunch of the easy ones because it was just me playing an England game. Uh, basically is what I was doing. I just ran as, um, uh, fuck, what's his name? Alfred the Great. Uh, you run him. Honestly, it becomes really easy really quickly to just basically annihilate and take everything you want. Uh, and you can get a lot of the, like, basic achievements just from forming England and getting set up. Because you get so much money coming in if you run it right. Um, so. Yeah. Definitely something I recommend if you're going for, like, a lot of, like, the patronage. Some easy ones I did with the Polish one. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, because you found it. Really? Poland was... Founding Poland was easy? Who'd you found Poland as? Uh, one of my grandsons. Um, sure. I don't really care. To be honest, you having you all having kids would be great if you would stop. <laughs> all right. Uh, the Turkish one seems hard too. Uh, Piast. Piast. Mm. Uh, the Turkish one. I'm curious about the Turkish eagle. Might be difficult. Uh, I think it's a 50-50 in my opinion on whether it's gonna be the one of the harder ones to deal with. All right. Let's convert you. I think it's just because you're set up in the um, Abbasid Empire, so it's going to be a little more difficult uh, to get started, and I think you're going to definitely need some luck early on, but I think besides that, you should be alright. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to gain control in these areas as we take them, but should be a quick conquest, to be honest. I should be able to push through each of these guys without any issue. I am keeping track to make sure we're not getting... Um, a random like ally it's like got 9,000 troops that's gonna pop up on my ass here once we get these we should be able to kind of sit for a minute and regain control over the lands but to be honest I think as of this point we're pretty much golden for what we're doing all right another piece of land easily grabbed all right perfect uh, now the big thing is getting culture over there because I am NOT going for a culture achievement this run so we want to continue to spread our culture as much as possible. Okay. So he's all good. He is set up properly. Perfect. Uh, let's get rid of you. Oh, God, I was hoping for more gold. Uh, don't need that. Working on that. And we're working on the low county control, which we need to wait on. We are dying, though. We can't do anything. We're infirm. We're old as shit. Like, we're, we're fucked no matter what we do here. Honestly, it's probably for the best this guy dies. Oh, uh, sure, get Craven. Uh, if I can, I cannot attempt sell or to kill myself, unfortunately. You know, let's take a difficult place. Yeah, let's go for this. Also, let me check something. Oh, interesting. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay, this is what you were talking about. I'm actually kind of surprised that this isn't an achievement. Uh, I was basically at the point you are now formed cobblestone and all neighbors I kept weak all the time But one had an alliance with the Arabian Empire and blitzkrieg me. Yeah, you got to be really careful in my experience the Habari there. Yeah, see they're really big on balance uh, allying with the um, Safarids, which is one of the reasons I've been kind of marrying off family to them uh, every once in a while um, It's a little more difficult overall, but you know it can does sometimes come in handy actually uh, let's see. You've got a young son. Let's see if we can actually get a marriage at this point. Probably not, but we can try. Yeah, no, now they won't because of the religion. Shit. 
Habari, I fought uh, back with my allies. Yeah, I mean, if it does come down to it, that's also one of the reasons I'm okay with having so many um, allies like I do. Because we are so many daughters, because we can get all of our allies really quickly. I will be dead within the year. No shit. Really, I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, let's see, is there anything for the culture we can reform? Uh, Futawa is good. Philosopher culture is definitely good. Cavaneers is fine for marriage. Honestly, I'm not bothered by anything. I would actually like to switch over to equal just for the interest of it, but that's fine. Not a big issue. We definitely don't have high enough learning for anything. Um, I think we de do want to put some time, though, into Royal Prerogative while we've got the chance. Oh, good. We gained one learning, guys, at the end. Fantastic. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, no, I feel that. I felt, Yeah, fighting back with your allies is definitely useful, but I think in this situation, yeah, we are definitely on the precipice of a major war with them. Um... We'll see how this kind of goes. I do not want to be dealt. You didn't switch to Afghan in the beginning, give mountain prestige when buildings? No, I did not. Um, I actually wanted... Um, so, the Afghan is fine, but I actually wanted the Gur because of the fact that getting this makes it so that way we do get the or we get the Gur to empi uh, empire easier. Um, from what I understand, the only way you can get is by having the Gur uh, or the Gur culture. Uh, sure, you can be received. That's fine. Now, the temptation to go to war, but at the same time, I want to get my lands back under control, which is kind of the issue. Well, never mind. We don't have to worry about it. There you go. Continue over. Well, I was hoping to pause game, if you would let me. There we go. Uh, let's look at our culture here. Um, all right, we'll sign you. That's fine. Kidding you. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of people who are now going to hate us because all of them are basically set to be um, against me since I am the nephew. They're all going to want the, uh, our position. Let's get that development build up. Ten bucks says I get assassinated pretty early on. Um, okay, so I can create a duchy over here, which would give me Gadahara. You know what, we are actually going to create this, but for a different reason. Uh, we're going to grant this to one of my family members who's in here, uh, who serves on my court. I believe it's you. Wait, I'm confused. With what culture you start? It wasn't Gur? No, it was not Gur. Uh, you, I did not get that in the start. Uh, got a Hara, and you want this territory? That's fine. Enjoy. Keep you happy and keep you from rebelling against me, hopefully. Um, we will also transfer, yeah. Uh, you can, like I said, I put, I'm post, or there is a VOD that'll kind of walk you through what I was doing. You may catch something I didn't, which, you know, definitely does happen. Uh, okay, so now we want alliance power for this, and I do not care about their inheritable traits, so let's get the best alliance power we can possibly get. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so now we can start building our alliances as much as possible, which will be perfect for us. We do want you to be swayed and to like us. That would help. With our high learning, we should be alright, though. Also, as a thing I did instead, I know a lot of people have been messing around with the language stuff. I've actually been going full-on warfare to build up my strength at arms. Um, and in my opinion, it definitely has been helping a little bit more. We do have two few champions... Uh, well, we can't do anything because we have no cash, so it doesn't matter. And we need land right now, so I'm not going to give up these territories. Okay, our royal court grandeur goes down. Not really bothered by that. Something I am going to play around with later and fool with uh, to see how it looks um, when that time comes is going for the uh, achievement for that. Interesting, I focused on marriage acceptance for alliances. Yeah. Uh, the way I play is very different than most people uh, for most Paradox games. Um... What do you have a claim on, and why should I care? You actually are really good, but you're really old. Yeah, you can go have fun. I'm not going to push a war that I have no value in, in. No. We don't need the court, or we don't need more artifacts right now at this point. Uh, we are not allowing this court to do that. No, piss off. Um, and we'll kick out the courier. That's fine. Perfect. 
So we're fourth in line for some territories. That's not a big issue. Uh, let's pop this so that... Yeah, there we go. There's that learning. Holy shit. That's going to be massive. Yeah, getting a royal prerogative immediately just so that way I can get higher crown authority would be great for the revocation stuff. But yeah, no, normally it, I play very different than what most people expect. It's the same thing with how I play Stellaris. Um, that's pretty normal, uh, in my opinion, for my running uh, my games. It's just like how I got... Uh, I actually, for the From Ashes achievement, I actually started out as a single province, I think as a Hellenic ruler, and basically put forced my way up. Uh, I, I will mention that that playlist has been running for two years now because there's like a 30 minute episode every time. I love playing tall, that's why I found the Polish achievement so easy. Form Polum as Pius Dynasty and then get all the good artifacts. I imagine with the artifacts is definitely going to be a little nicer. Um, again, I don't know if I really want to bother yet with any of that. I'd rather invest into my count of territories to make more money. Um... Light Cavalry Maintenance Reduction is going to be best in this situation. Let's cock over here uh, and getting that again so we can start investing in our cav will be great. Because now we are in need of cash. The fact that I'm making so little cash bothers me. By this point, I'm usually having like 30. But no, I feel you. I mean, if that if you get, play tall well, that's that can be really useful. For me, I'm very bad at playing tall. I typically play very wide when I run um, a game at all. I'm also very cautious in my games, which is something that uh, I guess isn't common. But yeah, I'm extremely cautious with how I run my um, campaigns. So, and to some points it's hurt me, to some it hasn't. Okay, we had another dot. Yeah, see how fur. God, she's so fertile. Jesus criminy. Uh, what's going on? Foremost champion, take their swords. Uh, today, chasing achievements and watching the world news. Yes, we have been watching the world news, watching the whole thing going on with Russia. Um, because I've been very cautious about this whole thing. But thank you, Chastin, for showing up. By the way, respect Chastin. He is a mod. Uh, he does have power, so be afraid. Uh, everyone deserves to know the truth, because we don't need the piety boost right now. Uh, I do actually want that. Chastin just likes to play with the commands. It's literally all he comes in here to do. The most fun was a random game where I wanted to play tall and only hold the Kingdom of Holland. No offensive wars after forming that. Ended up HRE boss. Oh, wow. I've never played in the HRE I, uh, at all. Like, in 1066, I always, I've always always ran games in, like, eight, uh, 867 unless I was doing an achievement run. All right, let's pop that. So, may, yeah, no, fair enough. Power, more power to you for that. There we go. That's, that gold is rising. That's what I like to see. Also, our, how are our factions? We've got some Liberty Faction focus. It's funny, because you're... There, there's games. The Noble Mind knows Renown. He was one of our family members. Actually, I think we've got... How many... Uh, how many members? we got 75 living members, and we've got two houses at this point. So, I definitely uh, the, the want to push into you. Oh, you are mm, you are Muslim though. That's what's it looking like for the stack up? It's not bad. Problem is for one claim, I don't feel like it's worth. I mean, he has a claim on that entire thing. I basically got Holland ready for <laughs> colonialism, super rich and developed. Fair enough. All right, you know what? We're going for it. I I want it. We're going to call our allies in. I also love that the, the mayors are, like, you have to put, like, 750 fucking prestige to get them involved. Uh, another sister of mine. Let's see. For alliance power. Sure, go marry him. That's fine. It guarantees us an alliance for a little while. Um, don't care. Don't care. I'm not worried about all that. Uh, tomorrow... Yes, Chastin, it has not changed. I know how shocked you are. Nightbot doesn't get updated all that often. Yep, still checks out. Yep. He's just coming in here to see what I've updated and what I haven't. Uh, let's actually... Sh you know what? Just in case, I wouldn't mind having an extra ally. And we have the prestige. Let's use it. Did we just lose... 
Okay. Uh, how did that not invalidate the war? Yep, still checks out. Poor dad. <laughs> uh, I... Uh... <laughs> Yesterday? God damn it. Uh, how... How did that not invalidate the war? It, it takes a minute. Nightbot was thinking. Give him a minute. Um, okay, game. Yes, I know it has low durability. Here, reforge. Just so it'll stop showing me that message. Alright. Now that we've gotten the control back over there, let's get our control in our new territory. And then culturally... Yeah, really just keep doing that. Your lol. There you go. Actually, you know what? Let's focus on wealth at this point. I'm not really caring about the culture. We've got a setup that we're pretty good. Uh, I don't want to fight you. What do we stack up with you looking like? 15k. I mean, he's not great. And now we don't have any claims on it. I would love to subjugate, but we don't have the prestige. Though, we're not far off, so... <clears throat> oh, I forgot to end the first video. Uh, there you go for you.